Hello! The Eldritch Zookeeper is a monster zoo management game and here is the latest update on recent developments. And just to show them off, I've built this little zoo. It's just got six monsters in it and as the visitors arrive outside of the zoo there is a new ticket booth. It is uh, staffed by this masked friend who's got a nice hat and a nice waistcoat and the visitors uh, queue up and once they buy their tickets they can enter the zoo and tickets are like uh, really any other visitor item in the game like uh, like ice creams and after a while they they drop them on the ground because there was no uh, nowhere else to, to put them until now a, a zoo with rubbish everywhere is, is obviously not going to make the visitors very happy very impressed so I've added a litter bin that you can you can build in your zoos and if you spread them around um, most uh, visitors will end up putting their rubbish in them. Uh, one nice extra touch that I, uh, I added, this is not something that I necessarily needed to add, but I just thought it would be, it'd be neat, is that when a litter bin is knocked over by a monster, all the litter that's inside comes out. Um, so then you have the sudden problem of a dirty zoo. Although I, I suppose the main problem is still the, still the rampaging monster, but then you have this other... <laughs> I suppose a secondary problem of a dirty zoo. Uh, bins can become full and when they do they have to be emptied uh, before they can continue to be used. Now I don't really want to just give the player this ever increasing amount of, of busy work that they have to do that wouldn't be fun, certainly not fun when zoos become much bigger, but I've got some ideas to sort of improve that in the future. Uh, another new thing, aside from the ticket booth and the little bin, are benches. So you can now build metal benches, let those visitors uh, sit and rest and they look neat. And making sure uh, any zoo you're, you're building has appropriate seating and appropriate cleanliness is, is going to be um, one of the ways to keep visitors happy uh, and also to improve your overall zoo satisfaction rating, which isn't something I've uh, begun to implement yet but it will have a big effect on how many visitors are turning up to your zoo how ready they are to spend money or how likely if you're not doing a terribly good job how likely they are to riot because they're uh, disgusted with your zoo um, all the all these different elements they're going to interlock and you'll have to consider all of them when it comes to expanding your zoo and one last uh, problem I've been thinking about for a while is how should the zoo get closed, right? There's been this option to shut the zoo gate in the game for a while, but that just kind of traps the visitors inside. How do they then, how do they then get out? How do they leave? Uh, but the, the solution to that that I've arrived at is, is, to, is to shut the zoo gate immediately and also teleport one by one all the visitors outside the zoo. You see, this is why you make a game where... <laughs> At the center is a magical cursed zoo because you can just go oh well is there a problem i can just magic magic will solve it um, now obviously teleporting all your uh, zoo visitors outside this is pretty devastating uh, economically it'll uh, take some uh, time for more visitors to come back but perhaps if there's a, a monster breakout or maybe a big fire or something like that this is the i suppose the nuclear option to save the visitors lives and that's the update um, if you want to keep following along, we do have a Discord server for people interested in the game. You should join it. Um, subscribing on YouTube really, uh, really helps us out. I don't know why it's just said us. It's just me. It's just me making this game. Uh, so click uh, subscribe button. And if you haven't already, you should wish list the game on Steam. These three ways. If you do all those three ways, there's no way you're going to miss out on uh, when eventually the game comes out and also any future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.